Hello, Libras. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting. Let me adjust that for you guys. There we go. That's better. Just whatever the cards want to say. The last reading I did, I was getting that your person has a dark past. And they're focusing on breaking old patterns so that they can be good for you. So that might be why some of them are distant is they're just kind of trying to perfect themselves right now, trying to get their lives in order. Maybe for some of them, the connection was very unexpected. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement, submissive, weak-willed. Vulnerability, receptivity. Codependency and addiction. Truth and clarity. Hmm. Truth and clarity regarding something that was toxic. Uh, red flags, hidden motive, motives. The, the truth is coming out about a certain situation. I think this is more just the same energy of them facing their own truth and doing some uh, soul work. Some Maybe going through a dark night of the soul. And it feels like they're more courageous and assertive than they were in the past. Like they're having, they're strong enough to be vulnerable now. They're giving into these feelings. They're being vulnerable. They're being receptive. They're giving into this passion now. Whereas before I feel like they were more guarded. Like they're, you know, I mean, they are really working on themselves. They are focusing on getting things together, but it feels like they're going through some kind of breakdown right now, but in a good way, like in a really beautiful way. It's like they're, Maybe they're overly logical. It's like they, they are working on themselves, which is positive, but sometimes they overdo it. It's like sometimes they're too hard on themselves. Like if they're going to the gym, it's like sometimes they just keep going, going, going. Like they don't let themselves rest. Or like maybe they're an overworker. Or this could be you as well. But it's like someone here like maybe just works too hard or they're just being overly hard on themselves. And so... There's some sort of a breakthrough, like a breakdown process that's happening now where it's like they're finding their true self, like they are healing and becoming a better person and they're they're giving into their vulnerability more where I think before they were kind of, you know, closed off, kind of kind of just like logical, like, oh, it's the wrong timing, like, oh, I have to work on myself, I have to, I have to do this, I have to be perfect before I can date, I have to have a successful nine to five job before I can date I have to do this I have to do that and god it's such a strange energy because they meant that like I don't think that I don't think they were just like if they said that to you I don't think they were just blowing you off I think this person really is a perfectionist I think this person really you know did feel that way like they really were sabotaging things and trying to perfect themselves but I think they're realizing that they're doing that now so they still have goals that they're trying to meet but I think they're also really focusing on breaking old patterns. Like they're finding themselves. They're like, okay, yes, I do want to get ahead in my business, but you know what? Like it's not everything. Love is important too. I feel like they were very unbalanced before and now they're learning to find that balance and they're realizing that love and vulnerability and emotion, you know, needs to be a part of their lives again. I feel like they've, they've cause their own loneliness basically is what I'm getting here beauty mystery enchantment and if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth into what this person's feeling thinking wanting with you whatever you want to know just send me an email my email is right below in the description box right below this video so yeah and any donations are appreciated even just a dollar it really adds up quickly and my um donation links are also below so thank you guys for that Beauty, mystery, enchantment, sex, seduction. Yeah, it's kind of, I'm getting the energy of someone who's just like overly logical, but you're getting them out of that logical energy. You might not even realize that you're doing it, but in a good way. Like maybe you're like fun and adventurous and free spirited or you're you're more in tune with, with your emotions than they are. And that energy is, is getting them to kind of, you know, they, they like, they admire that about you. They like the way that you're living. They like, it's like you're an example for them. Choose a path. Anger, miscommunication, finances, and career. Yeah, that's kind of like the way they've been living. Anger, miscommunication, like focusing on finances, like kill or be killed world mindset for some of them. Just kind of, 
kind of just overly logical and kind of cold in a lot of ways. And it's like they're really finding themselves. They're really they're really allowing themselves to be emotional again. They're really um, going through some kind of breakthrough. They might have some regrets about, you know, if you guys haven't talked for a while. Divine intervention and synchronicity is getting them. It's kind of like this person went off their soul path and they lost themselves. Maybe they, maybe like in glamour or... Um, got too carried away with the money and they stopped having it like they stopped caring about love like they put money first like all area all these areas of their life are important but it's like they've forgotten that and now they're remembering that again the divine is coming through and helping them remember that yeah there's some kind of third party distraction that was just taking them away from who they really are on a soul level it's like they lost themselves for a long time and now they're finding themselves again and they might be wanting, the more they find themselves, I think the more they want to make a love offer to you because they're, they're more compatible with you now than they were before, because it's like before they were really in their ego and they weren't, I mean, you have to have both. It's not like you can just get rid of your ego. That's not realistic. You're going to have your ego. It, it, it has its place, but your person didn't have that balance. Your person was just all ego and no soul. You know what I mean? Like just closing their, like shutting their soul out, like shutting their intuition out, like just like, you know, slave to capitalism, just nine to five job, like uh, just focused on the money, focused on whatever this third party energy was, just, just, you know, it's like the shallow, but like they're, they were deeper than that, but they weren't allowing themselves to be that emotionally deep person that they are deep that they really are if that makes sense I hope that makes sense <laughs> but it feels so it feels like like yeah there might have been like some sense of incompatibility in the past because you were this like free-spirited like loving open like romantic you were like the opposite of what they were they were like cold and guarded and logical and distrusting and um a perfectionist perfectionist energy is coming through strong like they just had to have things their their way they you know they have all these excuses for sabotaging love and sabotaging the good things in their life like oh you know they have to they have to be in, in this place in their career and they have to do this and they have to do that before they can let anyone in and they have to you know blah 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 blah, blah. like just has everything planned out just kind of almost boring energy and you're like the opposite where you're just like you know, you, you, you go with what you feel more, you trust in what you feel more. And I think they admire that about you, but it might've like intimidated them or they might've pushed it away because they, they maybe stirred something up in them, like showed them a side of themselves that they used to be, or that they could be. And that might've been part of why they pushed you away is because they didn't like being forced to face themselves like that. Um, so it feels like there was like a personality difference in, in incompatibility, but it feels like on a soul level, you guys are very compatible. It was just, they've gone off their soul path. They've gone off their destined path and, and kind of, you know, given into like materialism too much. It's too out of balance. You know what I mean? Like it has its place, but it's become unbalanced for this person. But now they are finding themselves on a soul level again, and they're really admired and admiring and they're inspired by how you are, the way that you see the world, the way that you interact with the world, the way that you, um, you know, trust your emotions, the way that you feel everything so deeply. They're really inspired by just the way that you are. And even though it was kind of something they were like, you know, closed off about before, now that they're listening to their soul and they're doing the healing work more, they're, they're changing and they're becoming the person they really are deep down, the person that they were meant to be before they got off their destined path. So now that they're coming back to themselves and to their true path, um, that you guys are more compatible now because they're, they're more open to that, even though it kind of scares them, almost makes them uncomfortable because they're not used to it. But it's still good. It's still good. I mean, you guys are there's you have more in common than you did before. Could be someone you met at a club or a party or a bar for some of you. Or someone could be feeling lonely, isolated and going to parties and clubs. They might have messed up with you for some of you guys. Yeah, some of them are spying on you and they're like wondering if they still have a chance with you, but they're overthinking it, overanalyzing, self-sabotaging it. So, yeah, they're still focusing on breaking old patterns. I feel like they're having more epiphanies now, too. Like, they're, they're, they're just, they're changing a lot. They're becoming more themselves. 
And so they're seeing the connection with you differently. Like, whereas, whereas before they might have been like, wow, that person's like weird and eccentric. I don't know about that. But now they're like, oh, that's cool. Like, because they're, they're, you know what I mean? And you, you probably felt that too. You probably felt like, like, this is my soulmate. Why are they so like logical and closed off? Like, you probably didn't understand it. Because it's like, you're picking up on who they are on a soul level, but who they are consciously, like who they've become this lifetime is, is much different than who they really are on a soul level. So like on a soul level, yeah, they're, they're, they're your soulmate, but you know, the conscious current physical self comes into play too. And that was like at odds with, with their soul, if that makes sense. But, but again, they're, they're, they're opening their mind. Finally, they've been really kind of closed off, kind of almost like judgy, almost like they, there's certain energies that they question or that they, that they don't like, but now they're finally opening their mind to to different ways of being, uh, risk reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. So it does seem like they are wanting to talk to you and be closer to you now. Like they're, they're, um, they're rethinking things like things you've said, things you did just the way that you are like, they're more open to that now. Yeah. And they're feeling a sense of nostalgia for you. I feel like they're kind of wanting to give this another chance. sense of belonging home safe space yeah because as they get more in tune with their soul and like dreams vision telepathy as they as they open up more to this they um you know they, they start looking they're looking at you in a new perspective whereas before they just kind of i mean not that they didn't care about you before but they thought like maybe you guys were too incompatible or it was too much or they they had to do this and this and they had to Every, like they're kind of like a control freak like they had to have everything perfect before they could be in a relationship and you guys have to make compromises on this and blah 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 and their guides are kind of slapping them in the face right now like they're having some tower moments some rude awakenings epiphanies all that energy to get them to let go of their control issues and just allow this situation between you two to unfold naturally because they can't control you and they're not used to that. They're used to normal relationships where they can like predict and control the person you're with, they're with. But you're like, you're adventurous, you're free spirited. They, they can't predict you and that freaks them out. But now they're, they're still a little scared of it. Don't get me wrong. Like it still kind of intimidates them, but like it kind of turns them on and inspires them too. like it inspires them to get back in touch with their own free spirited side that they left behind years ago. And that's kind of what they're working on right now is like they're they're getting in touch with their soul more and more. Um, some of them, it could be like you're like a witch or you're a psychic or you're into, you know, like astrology or readings. And they weren't really into that stuff. They kind of thought that stuff was weird and they kind of judged you for it or they just weren't like super supportive. Like they tried to be supportive, but they weren't super supportive of it. But now they're like now they're that their soul is waking up and they're having these dreams and maybe they're having like these psychic visions and epiphanies too. Um, and so now they're looking at it like a different way, like, Oh, maybe I should be more open-minded. Maybe that stuff really is real. You know, this is someone who's probably like, could be like an atheist or just someone who just like, you know, does not believe in anything until they're shown it like science, like just very, very unbalanced basically. But now they're like listening more to like they're thinking about what you st stuff you said and did in the past and just the way that you were. And they're like, oh, maybe I should have been more open and more supportive of that. Like they're they're um, they're they're their guides are pushing them, you know, head first, forcing them out of their control issues and forcing them to make some changes and get back on their true path. And their ego is fighting it. It's, it's like a push pull. It's, it's a, you know, power struggle between this person's ego and their guides and their guides, their spirit guides are really pushing them to get back on their soul path and be their, be their true self. Um, so it's still a process, but, but yeah, they, they are slowly, but surely getting back on that path. Um, anyway, like I said, if you want a reading, my email is below and any donations are appreciated and please uh, subscribe if it resonates. Thanks for watching.